CET examination dates are out and you may be eagerly waiting for the examination as well because you might have prepared earlier. If not, you are not very well prepared earlier, you may be thinking, you may be anxious that I wanted to do best in the CET examination but I have got only 80 to 85 days left. So what I need to do? Which type of book I need to refer now? Because you cannot sit and you know study all the reference books or you cannot go with you know 10 to 15 study materials. So now you are supposed to choose the study material wisely, very smart way. Because in this video, we are going to discuss which are the very important books that will help you to get the best marks in the CET. And also we are going to give the clarity why you have to choose these books, what we are saying and why you have to choose the minimum books. Hi, hello, Namaskara. Welcome to Diksha Karnataka. Already KCET examination dates are out and you all know that 18th and 19th of April, we have got CET examinations. You are well aware of that because you might have gone through the uh, bulletin which is given in the KEA website. Now, how many days we have got for the preparation? We have got 80 to 85 days only. Right? So in this case, we cannot, we don't have the luxury of time. You cannot think that, okay, for the biology, you know, I will study all the reference materials. You know, you will be purchased many books from the different, different publishers. You may be having 10 to 15 books, but you cannot go through all the books, right? Because you have to prepare for the chemistry, you have to prepare for the physics, you have to, you know, prepare for the math, you have to prepare as well as for the biology. But again, you know, we will be knowing that we have got only 80 to 85 days. So now in this video, further, I'll be going to give an idea, right? What is the importance of the selection of certain books and what benefit we are going to get by selecting only few books for the preparation sake. Now, if you see here, when we select only minimum books, okay, that will give us a focused learning. Because when you have the 10 books, if you take one book, you will see few pages. After that, if you keep that and if you you not take up one more book, it will not serve your purpose. So we should be very clear that which book I'm taking and we should make sure that I'll complete reading of that book, right? So that is what we call focused learning here. Apart from that, effective time management. Why time management is very important for us? Because already I said, we don't have the luxury of time. We have got only 80 to 85 days, right? So now, and one more thing, I just wanted to add up here. See, if you can you know, calculate the number of chapters, okay, per subject, if you take, considering the first PUC and second PUC, for example, biology, if you take, first PUC, 19 chapters are there, second PUC, 13 chapters are there. So chapter number is more than, you know, 30, right? So now, if you calculate like that in all these four subjects, it will come around more than 100 or, or at least around 100 chapters. But you cannot think that one day I will complete one chapter. Then also you have got only 80, 85. You have to leave 10 to 15 chapters. So now keeping that in mind, it is very important to have the effective time, time management. Right? I am going to say about that too. In-depth understanding. See, when you take only selected books, you can read it properly. And you can understand in depth, right? That is also very important. You cannot go through the, you know, superficial reading of too many books. It is better to go with in-depth understanding of one or two books. Now, consistency, right? So when you read, you have to revise, you have to remember about that, right? And that is the reason we have to choose minimum number of books and reduce overwhelm. So already I said about many things about that now, right? So too many books will create too many confusions. To avoid that, we have to restrict to best minimum number of resources, right? So now, efficient revision. So this is very important. So once we read, you cannot think that I read this book, I no need to see again, right? We have to revise it because there may be a chances of, you know, forgetting some of the points which is mentioned there. So effective revision is very important. And apart from that, minimized distractions. Too many books, you will be confused. Hey, today, which book to take? 
tomorrow which book to take right so those kind of distraction we don't want right so now and enhanced retention see i just wanted to tell you all children one point very clearly instead of reading 10 books read one book 3 to 4 times that will yield you more marks right so always remember this mantra this you know i generally say with all my students right whichever the reference book if you are going to take read that thoroughly not one time three four times that will give best result compared to you are reading 10 books one time okay i hope you got the idea here and once you complete one reference book or one of one you know minimum number of books no number may be minimum but if you complete one book thoroughly that will give you the highest confidence level okay so now which book we are supposed to take into see if anybody ask with me based on my knowledge my understanding of teaching more than 10 years children i wanted to tell you all it is always better to start with ncrt textbook it's a gold standard right so if you are preparing for the cet or any of the competitive examination in the puc it is must to go with the ncrt books this is very very important and we have got the puc1 and puc2 textbooks related to the maths physics chemistry and biology right so you have to study thoroughly and if you ask me how to study the ncrt starting from the first letter till the last letter including all the dots you have to study you cannot say that you cannot relax that sir i have studied only first introduction of that i don't want to study the summary that will not work out so when you are preparing when you are studying the ncrt you have to study that properly completely why i'm saying this because if you go through the old question papers okay cet question paper especially you can find minimum 85 percent of questions are directly picked from the ncrt textbook direct pick you know that is you know some questions will be and some statements will be there that will be taken and that will be framed as a question so that is the reason please please read the ncrt properly for all the subject that is very very important right and after that what we are supposed to do next one when you purchase the uh, need, sorry ncrt textbook you may be getting one more book along with that we call it as exemplar book i hope you might have seen that if you have not opened that book this is the right time to open that and if you see there are many mcq questions are there chapter wise many mcq questions are there second level preparation will be your ncrt exemplar book questions first no matter what you are supposed to read the ncrt textbook along with that you are supposed to complete ncrt exemplar book that is very important after that so you have to go with notes you might have having you know your own written notes or you may be having purchased notes earlier you no know, beginning of the college or your college might have given some study materials coaching notes right you might have prepared some short notes you go through that that will make you know like whatever you have studied in the ncrt it will help you to recall the things and it will make your fundamentals still further strong right so that you can look into and after that i just wanted to tell you all third level of preparation it is you have to solve minimum to minimum last five year kcet paper okay so practice full length paper so read the ncrt read the ncrt exemplar then after that you can follow with whatever the you know coaching material is given in your college or what you have purchased after that you have to sit and practice full length paper right so when you practice full length paper there are two advantages what are the two advantages first advantage you will come to know from which chapter which type of questions they have asked or from the chapter wise how many questions they have asked right so that is the first you know advantage you will be coming to know about the weightage of the chapter second very important it will make you know give you an idea how much you have understood your reading right so moment when you get answer for all the questions you'll be very happy super excited because 
you have understood everything from the ncert the moment when you got stuck with some of the questions so then you can revisit to that topics you can refresh that so that if at all same questions comes in the ct examination or question comes from that topic in the ct examination you will be comfortable to answer those questions right so that is the reason my advice to all the students importantly you have to you know practice last five year k ct practice you know question papers and after that if you have time further if you have got the time then you can have go with the 10 papers five paper minimum everybody must and should do that if you can do it quickly, if you have further time, then go with the 10 year paper. So that also you can do it very quickly. My suggestion students for you all, take any one reference material, anything it may be. There are many publications are there, right? Go to the book stall or if you are having many books, okay, from the different publications, take one book, any one book which you are very comfortable with and in that solve chapter wise questions that's a one more stage you are supposed to do if you have if you are you know left with time okay right so this is the one more you are supposed to do that and after that what you are supposed to do once you complete all those things then you have to go topic wise mock test there will be many you know mock test uh, series will be available purchase anyone Go with the topic wise mock test, 5 to 10 full length mock test you have to take before you appear to the examination. I strongly recommend this, you know, taking the mock test children because as I mentioned earlier, why you have to solve the 5 year question paper I said, right? So there I mentioned that you will get the idea, weightage of the, you know, chapters I said, even you will remember what you have studied or else any difficulties or anything if you have forgot, you will come to know there. Here, when you go with the 5 to 10 length mock test, okay, what is the advantage you are going to get? It will make sure, you know, it will help you to manage your time. Because in any competitive examination, it is very important to manage time. Especially when it comes to the CET, we have got 60 minutes to solve 60 questions, right? Effectively, if I wanted to say one question, you are going to get one minute. So, if you want to answer questions very fast and precisely, it is important to practice. It is not just reading, it is not just revising, it is also equally important to practice. So when you do that 5 to 10 full length mock test, if you take that, so that will serve that purpose of time management, right? It will improve your answering ability, it will improve your, you know, uh, quickness, right? So more time go with. 10 to 15 full length mock test. So I hope children, you can do these many things if you are very meticulous and if you really wanted to crack CET and get the best rank. So all these points, whatever I said, you can recall those points and you can prepare for the examination. Uh, students, if you have any doubts or any queries, related to the study materials of any subject, either it may be physics, chemistry, maths, biology, you can leave a comment in the uh, comment section. So we look into that and accordingly, we can also prepare some videos to help you all. I want to thank you all for watching this video. I hope this is very helpful for you all. If you like this video, share with your friends, let them also get the benefit of it. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and Share this with your friends. Bye everyone. All the very best for your preparation.